I was so excited this morning to connect with you both because um, this is my favourite topic, creativity. I love it. Oh. You're both so, such creative uh, souls and um, so I'm really excited to share with everyone, you know, what you're doing and inspire other people to, you know, be creative in, in their lives. Uh, it's such a way to raise our frequency and, and our vibration as well. And I think the planet needs yeah. it at the moment. <laughs> I do too, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we all do. In order to stay grounded, this creativity helps us <laughs> to stay in the present as well. Yeah. In the fly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome, everyone. I am really, really um, thrilled to be able to bring this uh, video to everyone today, which is a lovely chat with two incredibly creative muses and creative beings. And one is Lucy, at the, Lucy at the bottom, <laughs> and one starts at the top. So um, I am going to share today some of the things that we're doing. And I think, you know, when we talk about what we're doing and show what we're doing, it can inspire others. Yeah. And also just have a little bit of a background about both of you and what's inspired you on your creative journeys. And have you always been creative uh, is a good question to ask as well. So oh, yeah. welcome to you both. Uh, wonderful to have you here. And um, I might start uh, with Darcy at the top. So Darcy, okay. tell me a little bit about your journey and we, we have the most incredible uh, sound healing <laughs> soundscape music of yours to share at the end of the chat today. It's so beautiful. Uh, Thank and you. I'd love you to share with us about that as well. But first of all, start yes. telling us about yourself. <laughs> oh, let's see. Well, I'll start right from as a young girl. Um, I was always very um, exposed and also to the supernatural and... I grew up in the funeral business, so <laughs> that, you know, and all the spirits, everything was there. I mean, and from what we experienced, uh, as a little girl, I experienced a lot in my room at night, like with, with orbs, with lights, with, um, I used to call it coat hangers because they were triangles and I would see them in my room and they'd start spinning and spinning. And then come towards me and smack right in the forehead. Oh. It was, yeah, I've, I've never really figured that out yet. So I, I'm still trying to, well, like I say, open that door again and, and get connected mm -hmm. and really try to feel what that was about. Um, and as far as the, the extraterrestrials, oh, um. I experienced them every night. They they were there. They were in my room. I shared a room with my sister. And all I can remember as a little girl, I used to think there was a little old man that came into my room because he had a bald head. And every night he would come into our room and he'd go to my sister. <laughs> yeah. So we've had lots of different experiences growing up. Fantastic. Yeah. And then uh, so that. And we were wild children. I mean, we were parented, but not really parented. So it was it was beautiful because I think that's what gives you creativity because there's no, you know, you're boundaries. not being controlled and mm. boundaries. So we, we ran free. I mean, we lived on the outside edge of the city and in, in the prairies up north. And uh, I mean, we had freedom. We we came home when we were hungry. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> wow that's so interesting because I had the same thing I just would go out wandering in the morning <laughs> in the orchards and the and the trees and then I'd come back late in the night did you have a similar experience where you were connected with nature in that way Lucy in with nature more the creativity stuff was for me um making cards sewing um, you know, being encouraged to create, but I didn't think I was an artist because my brother was brilliant and my mother was brilliant and I just like colour and pattern and design and I thought, <laughs> I love colour, I love colour. How can I get my art out there with just colour? And about 20 years ago I um, was being, I was a feng shui consultant and I got into painting some energy artworks. I had a company called Energy Magic and I created artwork that would encourage different energy within the spaces of um, people's homes. So 
I I did that for the last 20 years, really been selling my artwork as a feng shui-based art. Um, but the symbols and things have changed that I've studied for the last two years with a couple of really magnificent teachers who've t- up-leveled my art and now I've gone um, into a far more spiritual yeah. evolution with where I'm heading with it. Oh, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I didn't want to take away from your story there, Darcy. Oh, that's but okay. It, that's fine. I, I wanted to see if there was a, a correlation there. Sorry, I just it's went off. No, 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 it's perfect. I, that's okay. <laughs> it gives me a breather to calm. And I know, I've got my crystal. I'm holding my... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness yeah Laugh. oh, you're doing so well you haven't, you haven't mm-hmm. done these types of things before so you're doing so well both oh no no <laughs> I'm like <laughs> fantastic so, yeah. so tell us so, tell us some more Darcy so you were running free in the fields <laughs> oh yes yeah I did lots of that and as the years go by I I I I always was in tune with the spiritual world um my mother, she is one who sees spirits. She, we never knew until we were later on life because it was just something you didn't speak about back then. Yes. So that was quite interesting to see. And um, yeah, growing up, it was just a lot of freedom and, and like being creative. But I was always painting, drawing, grabbing stuff from the forest, trying to make things. I tried making my own bed when I was, what, 12 years old, but I couldn't get in the house because I used spikes. <laughs> So it couldn't be taken apart, so it stayed outside. Um, yeah, and then I got into using a lot with essential oils. Mm-hmm. And from there, <laughs> yeah, just all natural foods, holistic foods. Um, I love to do a lot of um, foraging. I do a lot of work with different herbs, making tinctures and uh, oils and just everything. and mostly for gifts like even my art too and my music I I've ne- like I say I've never really put myself out there so a lot of it I'll do and I'll compile it and oh, it's <laughs> lots incredible. of storage incredible. and I I give it for gifts because that's oh, wow. yeah Beautiful. that's what I love to do yeah so and then like it. I said oh yeah. go ahead Oh, sorry. So you sell the CD, but you haven't actually got it online. So, but I'll have it at the end of this <laughs> chat, and people can actually um, either buy it from you, or they can either contact me, and I can send them the link. But um, how yes. did you get all the beautiful bird sounds on there? And you had the crystal bowls, and your voice is incredible. How did you? Oh, how did thank you. you. Incorporate that all together. Well, uh, where it started from, I was wanting to get myself out there. I did take us, I did study with um, sound healing with a teacher down in the States, mm-hmm. Jay Shwood. And uh, so I purchased my bowls through him, did some studying with him. He came up a few weekends and I studied with him. And from there, I thought, you know, this is something that really resonates with me because sound is everything. And our voice is to be used for, yes. for healing, for singing and speaking like this is just, it's really hard for me because when I sing, it's just on a different different level or toning even. Sometimes I, I don't even like to use words. I just like to tone. Wow. Maybe we can get you and, to of that today. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get back to it. I've got to start working my voice again because I know I've been off track for quite a while. But, yes, I, I just truly really enjoy it, and it's it's just – a gift that I just want to share and I I feel it 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 helps people. It absolutely it, it, can I, can I sound. Oh yes. I listened to it. It blew my mind. I had the oh. twenty minutes that I'm there. <laughs> but the resonance afterwards, my body and resonance whilst I was listening, but that vibration lasted all day, like all day. Mm. Oh just wow. This oh, feeling wonderful. Of, yeah. Crazy. And I'm That's a big wonderful. sound healer too. Like I've got my bowls, <laughs> oh, and my, oh, you know, perfect. oils, we, and <laughs> well, I can't wait to hear all, of, all about you as well. I would love to hear all your oh, journey. Gosh. And I, yeah. I, I experienced a similar thing. It just was like another realm, wasn't it? When you listen to it mm-hmm. energetically, it's a, it's a much higher realm. Um, yeah. The sound frequency of, of what you've done, <laughs> incredible. You. So people will love it, I'm sure. Thank you. So, 
<laughs> you're so welcome. <laughs> so, Lucy, I'd love to hear all about your journey and your story. And you, you're not living. I already that jumped far. in. <laughs> <laughs> You're not living that far from me, actually, really, except across the board. No. But, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah I'd, l- I'd love to hear about, you know, your journey, where, where your creativity stemmed from, and w- were you always creative from the moment you were little? Yes, I, I've always been creative, and it, and I loved, I did love drawing as a little girl too, but like I said before, I used to compare myself with others. Yeah. And I didn't think I was as good as other people. So I sort of shut it down quite a lot. That's why I think I went into fabric and sewing and fashion and that kind of thing for a while. I always um, danced. I think dancing and (laughs) cooking is very creative as well. Yes, totally. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah when you when you asked the other day two weeks ago you said tell me what you're creative what you're doing that's creative and I thought wow I'm on this real creative <laughs> end right now I needed to I needed to tell you about it, and it was, yeah, we must chat. <laughs> So yeah. it's different at different times, too, isn't it? Like, you know, you'll step into a flow one day where maybe you'll feel like cooking or then one day you'll feel yeah. like painting. And and it's sort of mm. reading the energy of how you're feeling and the and the external energies and then syncing them together and finding out your way of creative expression in that moment, isn't it? Mm. And I find yeah. that I can come up to this studio every day, it, well, weekdays I come up here, and I am in flow the moment I get my paints out because I start playing so I don't start with the painting I start (laughs) playing and I do whatever marks I want whatever (laughs) colors I want and you can sort of see in the background there there's one that's a work in progress and it's just a mess it's just whatever I feel like doing (laughs) until it starts speaking to me so I just get into flow with art exactly and that's what creativity is isn't it it's yeah, fine. Mm-hmm. Right. So what what I'd like to do even is just share some of your artwork here as well. Um, I've got some links here. Um, one of them is from uh, Blue Thumb that you sent me. Mm. Um, and this is, I'm just going to pop it up on the screen. This is a bit of a closer look at some of your artwork here. So... Um, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so we can see here. Some, so, what? What? Yeah. Tell us about your inspiration for some of these pieces, Lucy. Well, most of these pieces are from a series that I called "Uncovering um, Gems," and and they've they're called names that they spoke to me after I finished them, and then I called them names. So, the alchemy the amusement, the discovery, perspective, soul. So they were all about uncovering these gems as these paintings unfolded. They're all on wood panels. These ones are just 30 by 30. Yeah. And they, yeah, they just spoke to me and they became a series. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the names. Wow. <laughs> Those are beautiful. I love your style. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> I love you. that. Yeah, and I've got a few things here of Darcy's as well that she just shared. With me. <laughs> I'd love you to talk me through some of these things as well, Darcy. Okay. And yeah, I bounce around lots with my creativity from yeah, one yeah, medium to the next. It's like you said, it's whatever I'm feeling that day or that week, then I go with that. Exactly. I'll just I'll just put something up on the screen. So tell us about this one here. That oh, that yes. is the one I drew, and that's my logo that's that I use. That is upcycled great. soul. Yeah, because it's that connection to earth and the connection to the angels, to the heavens. Beautiful. I love the love hearts yeah. under the wings. I know, and you know what? I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah. and, and my life, everything is about the heart. And I knew as a child, that's why we're here is our heart and hearts are just my life my world I just love (laughs) 
Okay. Yeah. I'd love to share with you both. Um, I've got, I've got um, an artwork. I did a similar sort of thing where I, I drew something and then I didn't realise till <laughs> after I'd drawn it that there was something else in there that was, that, that had inspired it. I'm, I'm just going to try and bring it up. I've got so many things on here to share. <laughs> oh, it's hard to find. Um, I'll just see if I can bring it up on the screen. So um, here it is. Okay. So this is, um, is that coming up on the screen, the nature? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, great. So yep. if you oh, love that. It's similar to you, to you with the hearts then, I, I, I painted that and, and I got the um, name that she was the nature goddess and then I realised that the eyes were birds. And, uh -huh. and and so that was part yeah. of the yeah it was part of the the the, the, the birds were part of this nature <laughs> as well so that, that was interesting I just wanted to share that because it was similar to your one yeah. um, in that way so um, I'm going to share some more of your artwork <laughs> with Darcy. so we've got um, this one here tell us about this one uh, oh yeah I. <laughs> if you want to read the words too. Yes, I love, um, I started practicing a little bit with photos I've taken and then mixing up layering photos and then words. And to me, just over the last two years, there's been so much emotion with everything going oh, on. Absolutely. And I, I just got so tired of it. Well, what a great way to be um, expressing all those emotions in a cathartic way, releasing, mm. you know, in the midst of everything that's going on. That, that's why yeah, it's just it's so good too. Self-expression. We need yes. we need to, you know, and art is the best form. It's yes. in any medium. It's, yeah. So yes. this one, what I wrote here is, within me lies the power to create and live in my own world where I'm connected through my heart in my own source and to nature's world order. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. That's a beautiful, beautiful affirmation. Did you write those words? Yes, yeah, yes. I wrote them for us. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, and um, I've also got something on the note of um, um, uh, words and using okay. words to, to express ourselves. I'd love to share mm -hmm. with you. A little something that that I wrote as well. I'm trying to try trying to tie everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this was a little poem. I love poetry too, and um, I've got yes. a book that I had published by a, a publisher called Hill Harry's Poems, which is all different poems about different aspects of life. But I've got a poem here that I wrote about love, and I just wanted to share it with all our oh. creative offerings today. So it is, I am love. Is it coming up on the screen? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Excellent. Thank you. I am love. I am the light of the sun that touches my face. I am the gurgling delight of a baby's giggle. I am the tail wagging of a loyal four-legged friend. I am the bobbing motion of a kite that soars. I'm a caressing sprinkle of the early rains. I am love. I am also love in the falling tears of my saddest state, in the deepest cave of my shadow self, in the weary bones of a challenged life, in the collective sigh of a changing world. I am love in all things. All else is illusion. I am love because I am one with creation. Uh, and the creator is love. I am love. <laughs> oh, that is love beautiful, that. Nadine. <laughs> that is so beautiful. I love it. Oh, I love that. Can, <laughs> I know. Can I share a quick poem with you? <laughs> oh, I love that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's in loving memory. Of my little Charlie. <laughs> oh, beautiful! Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Charlie before you, before you okay. share the part. Uh, well, Charlie was born in the year two thousand. He uh, was originally diagnosed with um, hydrocephalus, which is water on the brain. So we had to have shunt surgery, and um, and amongst all that going on, we noticed that the ventricles in his brain didn't fully develop. Um, I could go back and blame myself and say, because we were raising emus and we moved into town off the farm for a bit. And I had my incubator in my laundry room. And, and they're and, Australian emus too, aren't they? Oh, I love them. <laughs> they're just the most amazing birds. Oh, yeah. they're, oh, amazing. They're amazing. They have beautiful um, so, 
<laughs> oh, they do. Yes. Yeah. So I was, ha I was the mom, you know, I had the babies they hatched and I mean, I'd sit there and have them on my lap while we're watching a movie or something They'd sit with me. And then when we got to the farm, we took them back out again. So I had a medium tell me that what happened um, during in utero was about, I don't know, it was four months maybe when the um, spinal cord, five months when the spinal cord is developing, there was an interruption there. Uh, so to me, I feel that was at the time when I was handling and cleaning the pens and, you know, I probably picked up some bacteria. Yeah. I mean, I can look at it that way and lay the guilt on me. But then later on, I thought, no, that's not what this is about. Um, Charlie was on a journey here. Yeah. He was not yeah. here for a long time, nine and a half years. Yeah. And uh, we chose this together mm -hmm. because we both had lessons in life. He was my teacher. I was his teacher and uh -huh. vice versa. And yeah, uh, yeah so Charlie um the surgery is quite invasive so he ended up losing his vision which they said he never had but I knew he had his vision um he couldn't walk couldn't speak he um had very sharp hearing which was just wonderful because he loved music so we always sang to him and so is everywhere we went I can, can I ask us is this a picture of him here while you're talking I can share it the one that my you, little boy <laughs> with me. yeah this one yes here. that one there which one there is Charlie Charlie's on the far right looking at the screen right with yeah the, with the fringe yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. With the, this yeah. One, yes 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 with the with the wild hair and yeah, the, he's, he was the little like baby a, a gingery color hair uh, no, that was Taylor. That's oh. my middle son. Then my oldest boy, Justin. And yeah. Charlie's the little fair skin. Oh, oh right. Oh. <laughs> With his That's mouth Charlie open. Man. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we called him Charlie Man because he was like Superman. He was my hero. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So it was a long nine and a half years. Um, Charlie communicated with me once I came out of, well, just I was in shock from what all was going on. So once I, a year after I finally realized, okay, I've got to get myself together because I need to give this child the best quality of life I can. So once I got set up, then I put him on a fully raw diet. Um, he was too fed for a while, but I pulled his G tube off out because I, I disagreed with it. He needed to have that opportunity to taste. <laughs> that's yes. so important that's part of life that's enjoy yes. so I did that and we just slowly fed him every day all raw foods um I care we carried him everywhere mm -hmm. um we had a wheelchair for him but because of his uh curvature of the spine and everything going on he just wasn't comfortable and then I slept with him every night too I my mom gave me a chaise lounge and I would sit up holding him <laughs> every night wow <laughs> yeah what but story. he he was such a gift. He um, he communicated with me once I calmed myself down and grounded. He communicated with me telepathically. Mm -hmm. So I always knew what was going on in his body and vice versa. What a lot of times what was going on with me would show up in him and we would mirror one another. <laughs> it was it was amazing. It was just a beautiful journey with him. I just. Yeah, I just love like, speaking like about soul. him. It just brings joy in my heart. Like a divine soul, <laughs> soul mate type energy. Oh, yeah, yeah it was. It was just yeah. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And uh, towards the end, I knew a year in advance that Charlie wasn't going to be with us much longer. Yeah. He shared that with me. Uh, two weeks in advance, because I was home alone a lot on my weekends, the boys were always gone. And uh, two weeks in advance on the weekend, he did leave his body, but I, I pulled him back. <laughs> so he stayed another two weeks and a week before he left. Oh my goodness. He went through his whole service, exactly what he wanted, the sounds, the picture boards. <laughs> and, and then, uh, yeah, that night came and I mean, he was healthy, healthy as could be, never any respiratory problems for a little boy you know mm -hmm. that's with that severity and 
Mm. Yeah. And the night before, yeah, he came down with pneumonia, which he never had. So I knew he was telling me, okay, this is it. Well, at the hospital and pediatric wards usually locked down and, you know, it's pretty private. Well, we had <laughs> 20, about 23 people in the room till 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> and just like his teachers, his CEAs, <laughs> I knew exactly who I had to phone, his nannies. What is oh my goodness. for him? What, what, what is? Oh, it, yeah. it was beautiful. And like his dad was working in Vancouver. So I called him. I said, look, you need to get here right away. And, and Charlie waited. It was just amazing. Yeah. He, I was sitting holding him and I knew it was coming. And the minute his a text came in and said, I'm in the, I'm in the hospital. I'm just coming up the stairs now. Charlie, I could tell he was just releasing. <laughs> and, oh my God. It's amazing. He just waited. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. I mean, that's proof there that yes. And, and like I told him earlier, I said, Charlie, if I made the right decision to let you go because I could have incubated him, but I thought, no, I can't, this isn't right. Yes. You know, this is not meant to be. And it's, it's out of my own, it's out of, greed that we do that we try to hang on and exactly. we shouldn't do that that mm. is not what is meant to be and those mm. are the biggest lessons charlie taught me in this life was to first of all to love unconditionally yeah and to live non-judgmentally yeah and the last which was the hardest was to accept what i cannot change <laughs> you know and to be okay with that to let go, to surrender. To let go, surrender. Yes, yes. And that was beautiful. Once I could do that, uh, it was incredible. And to be present, always be present and joy. That was the biggest message, joy. And, and to be able to share what you've just shared with, with such an abundance of um, joyful sort of acknowledgement of everything is a real teaching for anyone watching, you know, how, you, how you've dealt yeah. with that. Because our whole Western culture teaches us to be in a state of misery when it comes to death. And it's oh, so yes. inappropriate. You, you look at some yeah. cultures, African cultures and things, and they celebrate a person oh, transition because they know they're going beautiful. to a beautiful place. And, and also mm, the, yeah. the, the, the really important sharing that, you know, we often hold souls here because we're not ready to let them go, but they're ready. Yes. That mm. is so important as well. So, you know, what you've just shared here is really profound. And um, what do you think Charlie's doing now on the other side? He is celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I really don't believe he came back. I think that was it. He, yes. he was ready. He had evolved and he was, an old soul. He mm, yes. he had done enough here on this earth, and yeah, he is and just I've, teaching. I've, yes, yeah. yes. I've often read and heard that um, souls that come in with with conditions like uh, disabilities or physical conditions, conditions, things like that, they often choose that because it's a great way to work off um, any sort of karmic. Um, oh yes, <laughs> stuff as well. So it's actually yeah. a choice that souls make to work much quicker in an accelerated way through any sort of karmic um debts that they've held on to yes yeah mm -hmm. yeah very very interesting now it's yeah. it's, it's <laughs> difficult because like i'm <laughs> yes. Oh, yes i'm with um compassionate friends here i've been with them since 2009 mm -hmm. since charlie left and and it's really difficult because i see so many families stuck in that grief mm, and exactly. some i can help and others they're just they're just sitting in it and they they just can't release it and it it's, it's really bothers me to see that it, it's really and and because we're relate. here yes exactly I can relate yeah. I have a, a baby girl who passed at birth as well and yeah. um, so her name was Georgia and she inspired many creative things like a song called Georgia um, that I wrote and, and and many creative offerings. So she she was a beautiful gift on many many levels, uh, similar to yeah. your unconditional love. Yeah. Um, and in a really accelerated um, spiritual growth for me, 
it was like everything was amped up, you know, a thousand percent. And, yeah. and it really helped me on my soul evolution. And, and that was an incredible gift and opportunity that she gave me. So um, she's with me a lot as well. So lots of love to beautiful Georgia as well. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I love that song. I, I, can, are you allowed to play that song, Medina? As well? <laughs> oh, look, I have a bit of a challenge, to be honest, because I, um, in my ignorance of the, of the, of the, um, you know, uh, music industry, we, we sold our copyright. Well, we didn't sell it. We, we gave our copyright to a publishing company in the U US and he copyright all our songs. Oh, and no. So now when we play them on, on, on monetizing platforms, um, we, we can't actually share them. So, um, and then never gave us one single dollar. Um, for, for my goodness. For them. Yes. So th this is, you know, what people talk about all the time when they're navigating music industry, very cabal, mm -hmm. um, extremely um, corrupt. <laughs> and yeah. so it's actually oh, a challenge, boy. but I, I can leave a link for people uh, to listen to it on SoundCloud. I can leave a link below. And oh, then, wonderful. Yeah. Here and on that, so that's good but yeah you've had, but you know i i also think now it's time to bring in new music because i did record them yeah. a while ago and it has that that sound frequency of then so i, I feel that new new energy is required with this transition we're going through so oh I yes <laughs> You know, I just go with the flow, or whatever. Oh, you know. Um, so, so I, I'd like to share with you um, as well so a couple of things that um, I've got here that that I um, did just around the house. You know, because you know, people out there that are watching, you know, there might be just little simple projects and things that you can do that are around. So, um, one thing I did, I got some clay and I made some um, clay mermaids. Can you see that? <laughs> oh gosh! <Yeah. laughs> so that, that's um um one of, one of the mermaids looks a bit like a seal. She's lying on her tummy, and yeah. um she she is there. She's got the long eyelashes, and she's got a little blue uh, mirror vanity mirror there that she looks at. Oh, and that's a Marilyn Monroe uh, mermaid with um you know the bra and everything. <laughs> that's so funny. I love it. Those eyes and lips. Those are so great. I, I love that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Very glamorous. And then, and then, just a simple thing I did around the house as well. As I grabbed a pot the other day. Um, I don't know if you can see that pot. I'll just might have to bring that up as well. Yeah. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Here we are. Okay. So just just grabbed a pot oh, and, and so painted cute. that. <laughs> I love <laughs> that. Stuck a few um <laughs> tiles on there, yeah, and it was really yeah. it was really rewarding and 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 fun to do, and and it just really um glammed up the the house, you know, gave it a bit more yeah. sparkle and color and pizzazz. So it's like uh, your background, Medina. Those colors, hey. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's, it's very true. bright, saturated colors. I love that. I love those colors. Uh, yeah, I love colors. It's yeah. the fuchsias, the blues, the ocean, the yeah. lime. The Speaking beautiful. of ocean, I've got an ocean one I'll share with you as well, which is um, um, a painting I did of uh, some dolphins. And there's a few more things I wanted to ask you about as well, Darcy, with your sharings there um, that you um sent me so this one here's an interesting one can you can you talk us through this one is that coming oh, up on the screen? Yeah. yes yeah <laughs> i went out it was in october actually and uh the background there originally but i i changed it it was on the beach down in fintry um on the okanagan lake it was just the most gorgeous fall day it was like middle october which is unheard of here it was like 24 degrees. Normally we're getting to about two degrees and chilly weather. But yeah, I took my bulls down to the beach and I had Charlie's urn with me and, <laughs> and seashells and the smudges. And I just sat on the water foot and a girlfriend came with me and she did some photos for me. And we just played sitting on the beach. I had my harp and we were, I've got a crystal harp and we were in the water playing and oh, it was just wow. a beautiful day. And it, the pictures that it was just awesome. So I've never like say put myself out there even with uh, being photographed as well too. So it was just 
it was another step for me forward, a little step. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Is that watercolour in the background? Yes, yeah. And and then did you do some sort of Photoshop or something? Yeah, to Photoshop that? with it, yes. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, beautiful. It's really, really <laughs> Thank you. beautiful and balanced and energetic. You can feel the energy of what that day was like, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was, yeah. It was just I'd, it I'd was love to hear the crystal harp. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love crystal harp. And um, there's one other one I want to share, and then we might get back to Lucy with her creativities. But um, this one was um, a lovely one as well. Is it like, um, tell us about this one that you Okay, made. so what that is, that is a, a rain drum that I make. And oh. it's full of pebbles and uh, there's little, um, I think I put rose quartz. There's little crystals in it and grains of sand and rock, just everything. And on the outsides of that, what I do is I uh, I do a lot of felting as well too, and this and the strings are felted as well too. And I've got one here. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see there's little flowers felted oh, right. oh, on yeah. there, so oh. it's nice and soft. And when you, it's just nice for meditating. Oh, yeah. it sounds like rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> I make those as well. Something to keep me busy and occupied. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely. Thank you. I've got a fan on. I have to have to take it home. But that's there's a reason for that because we've got Minji here and they're yeah. actually in the house. So when I put the fan on, <laughs> go away. <laughs> I thought it was the glamour look. I know. I, I didn't know if that was your background that keeps going woo woo woo, or if there was actually sitting outside and your hair was blowing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get rid of all the midges. <laughs> um. okay. Okay. Hey, Lucy, share, share with us some more. Have you got any other things that you'd like to share with us that you've been working on? Well, I'd like to share something I worked on about 10 years ago with a girlfriend. We collaborated on an a Oracle card deck. Oh, and, I'd love to oh, share that. Wonderful. That amazing. I'm going to put the link up while you're talking okay. and, and we'll share we'll share that. It that will, looks incredible. So um, did it take you long to put these together? Yes, it took a year. <laughs> you know, not full time, but it took a year to create them. She did all the writing. It was her baby and her name's Antoinette. And I she asked me to do the artwork for it. We picked a lot of my original artwork and then we also did a lot of Photoshop um, stuff. So this is the, um, it's called the Holistic Oracle actual deck here. Oh, this is the back, which is all sacred geometry. Oh, beautiful. Yes, there they are. Oh, there. great. Yeah. It, oh, are they coming up on the... I oh. did come up and then oh, they Oh, they did, out. yeah. Oh, they did, great. Excellent. Yeah. I'll bring them up again. Um, so, <laughs> it's, that one's called Free. Some Turtles, Authenticity. Oh, that's beautiful. And you did all the paintings? Yes, all, all the, the drawings. All oh, the artwork. beautiful. Mm. This one's called Ascendance. Oh, so, I love butterflies. Oh, look it. Gorgeous. Awareness. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. So, so, so how long, t tell us the whole story about how, how you came to decide to okay. make cards and yeah. how they evolved. Well, I I don't know if you guys remember Doreen Birchie, but back in the yeah. day oh, before, yes. she, oh, before, yes. she, before she <laughs> went somewhere else, um, I used to really like it. <laughs> and in 2000 and... 10, I went to her angel three-day retreat in um, Coolum yes. and I was sitting next, I, I had created a, a set of um, greeting cards and I had so many of them and they were called the gratitude um, greeting cards. So they were about saying thank you and being grateful for things. Yes. Anyway, I was giving them away because no one was buying them. So I was just <laughs> at this event, just had this box, do you want a card, do you want a card, do you want a card? And yeah. I was sitting next to this beautiful woman called Antoinette and she looked at through the whole box and she said, I'm creating this Oracle card deck. Would you be interested in collaborating with me and doing the artwork? Wow, fantastic. And Who's sitting next to you? 
she was sitting next to me at the angel don't thing. you love that i love it did you put out, did you put out a call to the universe to bring in <laughs> yeah. something like this yeah. yeah 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 and and at the same time um the way that she worked like we actually became very she was in sydney i was in adelaide we did skype in those days as well yes. and uh yeah, we we created it together. So she would send me the words and and the the meaning behind all the cards, and I just kept sharing with her what I was doing and and the de- and I created the little book too. I learned how to use InDesign and made a little book that goes with it. And, wow! Um, it was a learning curve, and this was my first deck. After this, I actually got um commissioned to do another couple of decks with another woman who I also met at the same age of retreat. And she does Archangel decks, so Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, so I've done those with her as well. But they just had one image and words on the other side. Have so you got they're... a picture? Yeah, yeah, I've got them. Oh, lovely. I, I love working with the angels and the archangels myself with, with the uh, work that I do. Uh, with healing and everything. So they're very much part of what I do with my clients and with, with all the soul healing groups and everything. I love working with all the angels. So this one, this one's the Archangel <laughs> Raphael deck. Gorgeous, which is green. His colour is green. Archangel which is Raphael. his colour and it's yeah. about healing. Beautiful. And then that's the back of the card. Wow. So this is pretty much oh, all digital, beautiful. digital art that I've done for these. Digital wow. art. And then on the back, well, I'll read this one. Miracle, the same divine being that makes the sunrise every morning created you. Give thanks for the miracle that is you. Oh, oh that is beautiful. beautiful. So they're all beautiful. And then there's some master cards within this deck. Yes. So they're pretty much the same. And then there's some oh. master cards like God. Yes. A fish. Yeah. There's two that jumped out. And then the other one is Archangel Michael. That was the first deck we made. Yes. And again. And I'm going to put the links below if if anyone wants to. There's a theme. There's a theme to her, the way that she wanted to create. So that's. That's the back of that one. So they've always got the sword, their sword. Archangel Michael's sword of truth. Yes. And <laughs> shall I pull shall I pull one of these? See what I get. Oh yes, please. <laughs> Let's see what we get from yeah. Archangel Michael. <laughs> your ego will question and put down your ideas. Your soul will always come up with a reason why you should go with it. Go with your soul. Oh, that is so appropriate <laughs> because people, I think what blocks them from being creative is they go, oh, um, my, your ego steps in. It it's says, oh, ego. I'm not good yeah. enough. Mm. It, it's going to be crappy. Mm-hmm. Why mm. bother? Blah, 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 blah. Mm. And it doesn't even actually matter for you to make any sort of judgment or analysis of what you've done creatively, but it's the process of doing it and expressing it that is the important thing. So, you know, take the judgment out of it, any oh. sort of analysis, because it's not about that. It's about the process and the actual um, action of being creative and, and tapping into your creativity and expressing it. Absolutely. <laughs> could not agree, could not agree more with that. That's how it feels. And and yeah. if you're doing it for others, then you're not there's a different energy. If you're doing it for yourself and you're there with the piece yourself and it's not about what anyone else thinks about it. Yes. You know, it it really (laughs) isn't for anyone else until they resonate. And then if they resonate, fantastic. But it's all about, really for me, (laughs) finding my joy and finding the way I work. Yeah. And it's so healing. It's so healing. Yes. I'm so blessed to have been given this life um, mm-hmm. with a partner that has has supported me and said, you know, paint, do that if that's oh, what you. That do. is mm. such a blessing. Yeah. It's such a blessing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, um, and, and to have a partner that recognises the importance of creativity in a world that's so driven by, you know, what makes money and, mm-hmm. you know, other things like yeah. that. Yeah, go get a job, Luce. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. My, my, my partner's the same, very, very creative soul, musical, and, and really um, honours and acknowledges the importance of any creative outlet, you know, which is is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I'd just like to share a couple of other uh, things that I've got here. This is um, a little painting as well that I did, which is um, a fairy creativity painting in it. It like your like both your work, I'm sure. I love I think, that. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you. It was inspired by Anastasia, the um, you know, Ring of Cedars. Yes, um, yeah. Like avatar on the planet, and yeah. And so I read her book, and then she inspired that, and and so it has um codes or encodings in it that yeah. that activate you in different ways. Um, the the artwork. So, you know, um, if any of these things that we're sharing inspire anyone, I'll be so excited. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, um, and then I just wanted to share one other thing here, um, which is um, I, I have a lot of books on my website, and this one is called um, um, uh, it's it's a goddess book, That's and this one is an angel goddess that I painted, and it was a giant big canvas, and the words that went with it, which were channeled with it, were we look to the heavens for inspiration as all beings are now being asked to move forward in peace and love. So it just had different um, channeled messages that went with each painting. So, you wow. know, that, that's an, another thing that you can do wow. um, if anyone's interested, where you bring through a, a, a visual and then you bring yes. through, you know, the words that, that, that go with it, which is what you were showing us earlier as well. Darcy and, and also the oracle card same thing really isn't yeah. it like, isn't so that? I just love that creativity and just bringing everything together like that I mean the expression of ourselves yes 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 and I'll show you this one behind me that Mark okay. Atwood Mark Atwood I love that inspired one. this one so I, I love Mark Atwood and um, okay. I, um, and his wonderful I, poetry too he does amazing poetry. He he interviews mm -hmm. really interesting people and talks in symbolic language with yes. numbers and yes. things like that. But this and also with the um, exploring triangles and diamonds because of the fact that you have with the um, the trinity of the of the mind body spirit, but also as yeah. above so below. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. I love the colours too. The, the beautiful, um, yeah. beautiful. So, they, um, they go so well together. Uh, I don't know if it's back to front, but anyway, you can sort of, once you get deeper into it, you can see there's history, there's lots of light coding, lots of... Um, yes, lots yes of you, you were talking to me about how you have the different layers. So under yeah. layer are different... Um, energetic meanings and yes. and things like mm -hmm. that that's right and i channel um like like they're sort of like reiki symbols yes yeah. yes fantastic yeah. so and they're all they're experience. all embedded in here as well Brilliant. so the energy <laughs> so i just feel like this is just a really good energy piece that mark inspired this piece. oh lovely and mark <laughs> inspired me to i think i think well it was um somebody else told me about it i think but he did a chat with ian welsh and then he, of course i've been doing some amazing workshops with ian welsh which darcy attended as well oh yes <laughs> and i'll be attending the next one <laughs> oh, i'm looking forward to that we love Ian. Have oh, you yes. yeah he, he, he's he's been amazing and um mark was i think the first one that got him mm. out there in the public which was which was beautiful so i, I want to share with you Girls, another thing. This is so fun. Oh, this is, <laughs> <show and tell. laughs> this is um, um, a book that um, I I had all these affirmations in my mind and I started to visualise I need to get photos to match the affirmations and I'm visualising I've got to get this person, you know, to, to um, bring in the photos that match them and then I bumped into this guy who had these incredible photos and every photo he had, matched my affirmation and this oh. I called the book soul spirituality oneness unity love and the love it. thank you the photos in there are incredible and each one specifically matches the affirmations there's like about uh, 44 or something um affirmations in there and then a lot of affirmations at the end as well but like you know there was one um really powerful affirmation about bees 
and he had this incredible photo of bees that was just <laughs> perfect. It was like the whole thing was just like divine synchronicity and I drew that in because I was asking to bring in. And the same thing, I had another book called Tale of the Crown for Children, which is teaching children how to love themselves. And I wanted to have a particular type of illustration for that for children. And I was temporarily living in a place uh, with this girl and this other girl. And then one day I noticed she was doing some doodles in like little drawings. And I go, oh, my God, they're incredible. And she goes, oh, thanks. So we like a little bit Japanese inspired. And I said, um, would you consider, you know, doing illustrations for my book? And she goes, yeah, sure. Oh, my God. God, <laughs> illustrations were so phenomenal. It was like this incredible, like the best possible illustrations I could have had. I'll bring one up on the screen. Yes, please. Show you. <laughs> yeah, she she just was absolutely amazing. Can you see that one? Yeah, can you see that? Oh, oh yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, and that's... she, the, the little girl, was sitting on the flower, and that was inspired by one of the. Um, pages in the book and it's called tale of the crown mm -hmm. and each you can actually buy the pdfs uh print separately but the 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 illustrations i don't know can you see down the side there of the, yeah yeah yes yeah. so, yeah. and they're so beautifully done and they just match um there's one here of um a beautiful castle um yeah. you the angel one here with the yeah. angels Mm -hmm. and then and, and the crown um going on the little girl and then there's one of a castle that's the front page one there uh oh i can oh, find them and they work oh, just, cool. <laughs> I oh, just there, there, there's, there's a lot of them isn't there medina wow yeah, amazing she 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 just did the most incredible job because she'd look at the the words and then she'd match exactly um what i wanted in terms of the um the images and um, it didn't have to say anything. It was just like perfect. Um, and they're so pretty for kids, like, you know, um, very so theoretical. Here's one of the crystal castle that she oh, flew over in, in, in the story. And uh, I was just blown away because the exact perfect illustrator was living in the same house. Oh, I, mean, I didn't even know she drew. <laughs> it was incredible. Yeah. So, yeah, you look, you sound like you've had a very creative journey throughout your life on this planet, too. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, the music, other thing. Books, art, paint, oh. you know, you know and, pops, and, 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 <laughs> One of the biggest things has been music, too. Like, I, yeah. my partner had a van and we, we actually put the eggshell things around it and made it into a mobile recording studio. And then we recorded a whole lot of music and then we, we put that out in the world and, and that's, I'll oh, we'll put a link below for people if they want to have a listen. Oh. But, um, and then I, I did concerts too around Victoria um, and people would always sort of cry because my, my, my songs were actually to heal. And so they'd bring up people's emotions and then they would have like a sort of like a, like that would happen at every concert it was amazing um that that the energies that came through mm -hmm. with 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 the activation of the of the sound so the a really important part of my creativity has always been writing music and singing and um sound through my voice um and uh, what a beautiful you voice you have oh my gosh yes you do. i listened to that so that prayer that you sang <laughs> was it a hymn my the, the Lord is my shepherd. Oh, thank you. And I listened to it yeah. five times in a row because I just loved hearing your voice. Oh, my oh, gosh. Thank you so much. So thank beautiful. You. Oh, thank you. Do, do you sing at all, Lucy? No, I'm terrible singing. <laughs> I can well, chant. I do chanting. I've got my bowls, my singing bowls, and I'll chant. Yes. And I love singing, but no one else around me would like to hear it. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> no. That's the important thing. So on that note, Darcy, is there any possibility you might do a little toning for us? Uh. <laughs> is that putting you on the spot? I don't mean to put you on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> you have a gorgeous voice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you.
We can listen to the CD. <laughs> okay, sure. Well, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I've got a bowl there. Oh, okay, <laughs> cool. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any right here. <laughs> oh, no worries. No worries. Yeah. I've just got this beautiful um, Tibetan. <laughs> oh, oh, that is nice. Gorgeous. Lucy, have you ever tried it with the water in it to get the dolphin sound? No, I haven't. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Hang on, it's not doing it. Sometimes they don't come up very well in these forums. Can you hear? There we go. Can't really there. hear it yet. No. No? Sometimes oh, it doesn't okay. translate. To, to, no, to, okay. Unfortunately, I did. I can feel it vibrating around my face. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> and the, it's a beautiful okay. <laughs> so what, what you have to do with your Tibetan bowl, with the brass bowls, is put just a little, some of them work, some don't, but put a little bit of water in the bottom. Yeah. And as you hold your bowl from the bottom, I think what it is when, when you're um, banging the bowl, <laughs> the frequency throughout the bowl where your fingers are, it kind of disrupts the sound. That's what I, that's what I, my theory so is. So then by this. adding the water, you add a little bit of water in the bowl. And as you, hit it with the bong you you kind of move it like this and when you do you'll get the dolphins singing the sounds it's wow. spectacular wow i'm yeah. gonna do that i'm gonna do <laughs> oh, that. and i'm gonna some, record it i'll record yes, it some, yeah. some bowls were some to. dope but it's <laughs> yes lovely well, girls, it's just been such a joy to chat with you. I mean, the energy has been infectious. <laughs> We're chatting it's been about wonderful. Energy. Thank you. Yeah, and what we love. And um, you, you're both very inspiring. And, you know, I'm sure that you're creative muses to a lot of people around you. Is that the case? You both inspire others creatively? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. I <laughs> yeah. think so. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. And and so I'm hoping that, you know, this translates to our chat today to anyone watching. Please leave comments below. Thank you to um, all the uh, people that are watching this chat today and we, we um, really appreciate you or we wouldn't be here. And um, I'd like to sort of also give a big shout-out to all my subscribers and say thank you so much for um, your continued support on this channel. And um, if you've enjoyed this uh, chat on creativity, please share because the world needs more positive upliftment at the moment. And um, so that was one of the purposes behind chatting to you beautiful ladies was to inspire joy and creativity mm. out there in the world because this is one of the quickest ways to uplift humanity and, and, and yourself, you know, is to tap into your beautiful creative soul i'd like to share with you just to finish a beautiful <laughs> quote by um a lady who um some people may have heard of um some may not have and um she has done a quote which incorporates um the importance of why um creativity is there as well in times of you know transition like we're experiencing on the earth her name is Arundhati Roy. Has anyone heard of her? Arundhati no, Roy? No, no, I haven't. And she says, our strategy should be not only to confront empire, but to lay siege to it, to deprive it of oxygen, to shame it, to mock it, with our art, our music, our literature, our stubbornness, our joy, our brilliance, our sheer relentlessness, and our ability to tell our own stories. Stories that are different from the ones we're being brainwashed to believe. The corporate revolution will collapse if we refuse to buy what they are selling. Their ideas, their version of history, their wars, their weapons, their notion of inevitability. Remember this, we be many and they be few. They need us more than we need them. Another world is not only possible, she is on her way. On a quiet day, I can hear her breathing. Where did you find that? That's gorgeous. Isn't that it? Is. It's remarkable. Yeah. Isn't it? And 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 it really says so eloquently the power of each of us to contribute through our own mm. soul's expression mm. what the world can be. 
and what we want the world to be. So um, I'm not quite sure where I found that, but I'm glad I did. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. thank you. Thank you. Well, well, it's so wonderful to connect with you both. Please keep in touch and keep you posted on your wonderful yes. endeavours, creative yeah. endeavours. <laughs> and um, I'm going to share links with you. <laughs> both of what you're doing below and um, hopefully we'll touch base soon and I'll also see you on the workshop Darcy <laughs> <clears throat> yes that'll be coming up soon too I'm looking forward to that beautiful yeah thank you oh lots of love to you both and yeah. love to everyone out there as well love yeah. to you too nice to thank meet you so um, much Jean. nice yeah. to meet you too Lucy yeah and thank you Medina <laughs>